Ew. <laughs> Pissing it down again. Hey, I know the guy in that truck. <laughs> I doubt he'd see me even though, even if he did look up. But I do know him. Right. Anyway. Yeah, it's pissing it down again. It's absolutely pissing it down out there. Um, me, money, and charity shops. Not a good combination. There's another case of connects. <laughs> and there's a tub, which has got connects in it as well. Uh, and that was it from the charity shop. I've got some bits in that bag there, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, cool. These lids are a pain to get open. There's some instructions with this one as well. Wheels. Good. I've got wheels. I've got a free rubber band as well. Uh, this case was a fiver. And that's slang for five pounds, for those that may not know. Close that lid on that. And this one was actually wrapped in a big old bag. But probably because this lid doesn't secure very well. That's just another little bit of a mix. This one was 350. You're probably thinking, why did I pay that when I paid 50p for the black case yesterday? But uh, <laughs> that was probably just a, you know, a once in a blue moon offer as it came from the recycling centre. What if I could find anything else like that again? I don't know. Oh, I could pay my rent with that. I don't want to lose it. That's my rent money. But, yeah, that's... Well, actually, this was still a bargain itself. I don't think I've ever seen a case of Connects that cheap. <laughs> but uh, they're not staying in those cases. Maybe. <laughs> Depends how much room I've got in the um, container in the bedroom. Yeah. Getting quite a collection. And uh, I've also found... I don't know what I could do you know. There. That's better. The tripod's not the problem on this new camera, it's the way the camera's designed. Um, the tripod mount is right here at the front of the camera, not in the middle. Which means there's a lot of weight overhanging at the back. So if I don't get the tripod right, it topples over. Which is highly annoying. Anyway. I did get a few more bits. I did get most of these from um, the Black Record shop. No, I didn't. I got three of these. <laughs> okay, so half from the Black Record shop in town and half from um, a charity shop. And the problem is if I loosen it, I better tighten up a bit. I have a good comedy show over here. It's um, a live sketch show that they've recorded and uh, put on TV a few times. With Mrs. Brown, played by a man. He does a bloody good job as well. Started off um, as a radio show. You know, like a radio, well, a radio comedy. Um, and then they put it on TV. And it's done by the same person that voiced Mrs. Brown on the radio show. Right. Next, I decided to get over the hedge for shits and giggles. Oh, trust me, if I had more money, I'd have got a lot more PS2 games, but... <laughs> I decided to get a PS3 game from the same place as well. What one is that? Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. One day I will get GTA 4. Anyway, these were um, buy one get one free in the sh charity shop right next door to Black Records actually. So I got Ace Ventura when nature calls. Just because I like comedies. Um, the Sims busting out. I got several 
The Sims games for the PC, but I didn't know they did it for um, PlayStation. These were a pound each, by the way, so... Well, technically these four cost me two pounds, because it was buy one, get one free. So... Da -da -da -da. Oh, this has netplay. It would be interesting if I could get netplay to work on the PS2. <laughs> Smackdown Raw, because I haven't got any wrestling games. And The Herbs. Sims in the City. I'm sure my sister had that at one point. So, yeah, some more games and a couple of DVDs. Put this one over here. Three pounds for a PlayStation 3 game out of Black Records. And Cash Factory, well, Cash Factory, I think it varies depending on the game. I mean, I can get GTA 4 from Cash Factory for um, £3.99. We round it off, £4. So, actually, speaking of rounding prices off, I've actually noticed Sainsbury's is um, slowly putting out the new 2016 Lego sets on the shelves. But instead of doing like everyone else does, including Lego, because a lot of shops will um, list the sets or put the sets on the shelf at the same price Lego has them on the website. And uh, for a set this size, it's seventeen ninety nine. But I've noticed that the ones Sainsbury's have got at the moment, they've put out at sixteen pounds. I've actually put it out at less. And others, they've, um, like the 7 99 sets, for example, they've just added the extra penny on and made it £8. I don't mind, it's only an extra penny. It's not going to make a lot of difference. I don't know why they've done that, because um, I always thought the reason they would put the 99p instead of round it off to the extra pound was because it sounded cheaper. But, uh, so I got that one from Lidl's. Um, Sainsbury's not little. I don't mind paying the extra penny. Be better than paying an extra eight quid on top. <laughs> Little, uh, what is it? Rally car, I think they call that one. So that's one to build later. In the meantime, lounge is looking like a building site at the minute. Uh... I can't do anything outside anyway. And I've got to need some room cleared in here. So I'm going to take. I'll piss the cat off because I'll disturb him. I'm going to clear this, take this apart, get those chest of drawers over here, and I can get the uh, DVD racks over there where I want them. I suppose I could stand a couple over there. Yeah, in other words, I'm just going to get in here and clear a bit more floor space. And those, I'm not going to cut into shelves. Because I want a table built in here to go in front or in that sort of gap up there. So I can make me beach. I think one of those might actually be long enough. I don't think I'd actually need both. I'll have to bring one in here. And it's going to go in. A table is going to go in here. When I can find some wood to make a frame up with. And legs. Yeah, anyway. I'm going to disappear and uh, start working in the bedroom. So, talk to you later. I've made a dent. I've lost a four-way extension socket, which was down here, because I had two down here. Unplugged one, now I can't remember where I've put the other one. It's probably in here, right under my nose, and I can't find it. Anyway, portable TV is okay under there. In fact, when I've got the um, extension socket in for this end, I'll... Um, slide that TV across because I'm not putting the connects box back under there I've got room on shelves and things in here on the bookcases so I'll uh, I think I will end up um, possibly maybe 
keeping that. And we'll have an empty connection to here. And uh, we could say this cost me um, 48 pence because I just found 2p in it. So far. <laughs> oh, I just broke a pen because it's still on it. So that was a bargain. I'm just going to. Uh, I don't really want to tip it because there's um, some crap in the bottom of this. Ow. <coughs> I'm doing it by hand. Oh. I've just got the odd few bits at the bottom. Oh, that missed. One case for the bin. Well, if I'm not going to slide this under there, I might do this one later. But uh, by the time I get this one in there, my little tub's full. <laughs> Hmm, I'm going to need another one. At the rate I'm going, I'm good. There's someone that wants a whole lot of these, but I don't want to post them all in one go because they are heavy. So what I'm thinking of doing is splitting them into maybe two parcels and posting them separately. That might even work out cheaper. Um, I think before I go any further with putting anything on there, I'm going to have to get some cables in place. <laughs> that would make sense, because I'm going to have to probably tilt this towards me, and I can't do it with that on there, so that's going to have to come off. I've got the little extension lead plugged in. Not to the power, though, because I can't find the other four-way. I had it here. I was sorting out the cables down there because I've put all my laptop adapters in that blue tub up there that the other lot of connects came in. That's the other reason I actually bought that because I bought the tub as well. I wasn't going to. I was actually going to leave that behind and not bother with it because I weren't actually a great deal in there. But I thought, well, I'm buying the case of it. I might as well buy that as well after I thought the tub would be useful. <laughs> what did I do with it? There's two down here before I've moved all the... You can tell I've moved all the um, um, computer desk out. I took that apart. The scraps on the trailer. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the wood yet. Uh, well, I'd be jiggered. I don't know what I've done with it. <laughs> I'll need a six-way for this end, but I can get away with a f possibly a four-way that end. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four-way I can get away with for now. Just the two consoles and the um, the light that's in the cupboard. The hole was already in the wall, so I don't know what the hole was for. I don't know if the previous tenant here had a light in there. I know that he had a fridge freezer in the outside cupboard, so unless he ran a power, you know, an extension cord through the walls and to the outside closet, because there is only um, a light in there, there's no power outlet, so that might have been what the hole down here was for. Uh, so I just utilised the hole and uh, put myself a light in the cupboard so I could see what the heck I'm doing in there. Right. You know, while I ramble on, I've been looking for that extension outlet and I cannot see it. I haven't been anywhere but the bedroom. So it's got to be in here somewhere. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do 
get that TV off there, the monitor and a few of the possibly those as well and just get the uh, cables threaded down to where they've got to be uh, yeah all right I'll be back in a little while alrighty that certainly looks a bit different doesn't it <laughs> three VCRs stacked on top of each other the only one that will be used with the Sony VAIO machine is the bottom one. The other two I've just stacked on there for storage. And I've got Panasonic SuperDrive VCR there. And I've got Sony DVD player there. And I think the screen light broke on that one. Up here I've got the JVC, uh, that's a Mitsubishi, that black one, and I've got the Deu, that laptop stacked under there, found my little two-way switch up while I was under the bed, so I've got that and the power adapter out, I just need another one I think, because I think I've only got the one I have. I need the other one, another one of these. And because I'm using that switch, I've got to change. <coughs> eating bits of mustache. <laughs> I've got to change the mouse and keyboard for um, PS2. Well, if I can find two of the adapters, I could use the um, PS2 to USB adapter. And, uh, I haven't got any more of those cables, just some VGAs. Ain't me good. Well, I've got the drawer open, I'll stuff some cables in here. <laughs> Left the LEDs on so I've got like a little torch. Right, that can go in there for the time being. Go there. Right, anything else? I go in a bag in the cupboard. Go in a drawer. Right, getting there with the bed as well. I'm actually getting there in here. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do with this stuff yet. I may just have to uh, stack it somewhere. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in the bedroom. These cars, I know exactly where they can go. They can go in the lounge. They can go, and I can get down here, on one of them shelves. So, I'll just stand up there. I want to get as much as I can done before I pop to the store again. As I've ran out of cola. Uh, just trying to think what else I'll need. I want something for dinner. I don't know what I'm going to get for dinner, but I want something for dinner. <laughs> uh, I suppose to get this all set up and working, I could pinch one more of those cables from this setup. <laughs> but then that means I'm still going to need to get one anyway. No, I'm going to need to get two, I think. Is it two? I know there's one in all of those, yes, yeah, so I would still need to get one either way, but I think I'm more likely to play with this setup than I am them, them ones, so. My pinch up from there. These are all plugged in. I don't actually know if they work. <laughs> turn the TV on. PS2 is going through the SCART like it was on the TV in the other lounge. Oh, good old CRT, take forever to come on. Whee, there we go. Now it should. It's not going to, is it? <laughs> Ten channels. That's cold. Uh, 
There's no. So I think it worked automatically. Got eleven channels. Right. I need a remote control tuned into that. I've got a couple I can use. This is usually my uh, go-to one. The screen's getting hard to see. I think the batteries might be failing in it. Uh, right. <laughs> we have to find the books up to my own remote because I can't remember how to do it. I can get. I think I laid them in here. I'm not sure. Well, that many cables in here that don't actually belong in here. What's that for? Oh, I've got the remote for the Panasonic VCR. Cool. I think it's one I got from Mum yonks ago. Absolute yonks ago. I also no, I don't need that. I don't know why I've still got that in here, actually. It's for something I no longer bloody need. Or no longer have, I should say. There. That's a laptop adapter. I've got a ah! Here is the book, and I've got a funny feeling. Now the books are not in here, that don't matter because I can tune this one in. I'll lay that there, I'll put some new batteries in the remote, and I'll do that probably after I've had some dinner. I really want to go to Sainsbury's. I've got to go to Lidl's, but I don't really want to go to Sainsbury's. Right, yeah, I've got the booklet. I could do some new batteries in, so I'll find a pair up and stick some new ones in. If I could find the booklet for that, which I know I've got somewhere. I don't know where, though. But if I can find the booklet for that one, I can use that one. I've got another one lurking somewhere as well. It's not in that drawer though, so that's somewhere else. Uh, I got that one out of a charity shop actually. Still boxed and everything, that's why I grabbed it, because uh, having some universal remote controls are not a bad thing. It may not operate all the functions on this, but what is it? It's a Goodman's. Yeah. Right, I'll disappear. I'm going to get something to eat. Then I'm going to finish off in here. Uh, I don't even know where to put anything now. Anyway, I'll be back later. Well, what do you know? The VCR part of it does work. This is another videotape that I found uh, in the same spot I got the TV from, actually. Um, it's working absolutely fine. Sounds a bit off, 
the sound is a bit off there but uh, that's nothing a um, tape cleaner going through it shouldn't fix but yeah it is plain stop eject this is where it could get interesting oh yeah it is working cool thought I'd double check just in case I put a faulty videotape in there last time because the videotape I used last time was one out of the same pile so I'm going to mute that now can't I yeah, got the remote tuned in eventually <laughs> so I've got those set up now pardon me so that's all good to go that's good video detector so I've got fully working TV no remote but that don't matter so I've got the universal one good turn off everything is all hard switched off I've done down there beds almost cleared it is looking a lot better in here now isn't it getting there DVD ready for tonight. I think I'm good. <laughs> Just need to clear some rubbish up in the lounge tomorrow before I do anything. Uh, yeah, I think I am um, pretty much done. These um, doors. I may just stand them side by side over here on the wall because I could, you know, use the shelves to put things on. So I think I'll just leave them there, at least for the time being. Um, yeah, I want to get those kids' bikes done. Oh, I put my giant mountain bike up for sale on eBay, and someone made an offer less than an hour later. Um, they are in Norfolk, so I ain't got far to collect. Um, almost 100% feedback. There's two negatives there. Uh, but that's in regards to selling and not buying. And I, judging by the feedback, they were just being nitpicky anyway. Because um, all the feedback said was... Um, seller refunded me never said why didn't communicate etc and to me I don't think that was worth negative they got their money back so what difference does it make obviously they refunded them because either the item may have got lost damaged exploded who knows one of they were electrical items so they may have gone bang <laughs> or found maybe the um, seller found something wrong with them Granted, the seller could have contacted them. That would have just been, um, you know, decent, but... Then again, I can't really talk, because I've done things like that. <coughs> Where I should have uh, contacted the buyer, but... Never mind. Well, I think that feedback was, like, well over six months ago as well, so... I'm not fussed about that. I'm just going to just quickly check my email to see if they've replied. Because I did send them a message. I always communicate through eBay's messaging system. Sunday? Yes, that's fine. I'm not in any hurry. For once, I've decided to leave the lights that are on it, on it, because I can't be asked to be honest. I put it up for um, a bite now for 30 days. I think I could have got away with seven days if I knew it would be this quick. Um, for 40 pounds, all best offer. Um, I did put in the description, you know. Um, open to sensible offers and they offered me 35 so 
you know, I put a brand spanking new bottom bracket on it and all the cables are brand new so I shouldn't have anything go wrong in that respect Yes, tomorrow a mo Ooh, bugger. <laughs> Morning at ten is fine. My address is I'm not reading that out. <laughs> I'm daft, not stupid. put the comma in because I do pick at other people's grammar. <laughs> Always give the post code just in case I've got a uh, twat nav. I don't like sat navs, I prefer to use an old fashioned map. Uh. Oh hell yeah. I've definitely been watching vlogging life too much because I'm picking up some of his habits when I'm on camera. <laughs> Go lock it in the shed. You better lock it in the shed last because I've had the Claude Butler out today. So, Claude Butler in first, that one in last. I might leave the traffic cones out for the night so it's easier to get the um, huge of my flips open. Out, rather. Bike out, that's what. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. If in doubt, have a drink of coke. Well, even if I can't make it tomorrow morning, I'm here Sunday, so... If they could make it sort of before Sunday lunchtime, because I want to go over to Mother's. And uh, the other advantage with that would be, I'd have some cashew to go to the dumper room. nuts. I've been playing this farm game, I've been playing it for months. It's, it's owned by a company called Good Game and it's called Big Farm. Yeah, I wouldn't really call that a big farm, but if you really wanted to, you could buy all the upgrades and things so you can actually upgrade and progress through the game faster, but and the prices aren't stupid for the, you know, the packs of coins and whatnot to spend on things for the farm. But uh, still, I'm just happy as I am, you know, slowly going through it at my own pace. I did make a fair bit of progress a few days ago, to be honest. Do I need any more cabbage? I don't know. What do I need? <laughs> If you've got a better camera, I can show you if it comes up. There we go. Yeah, that's all it is. Similar to the Facebook sort of things, but the graphics aren't actually too bad, to be honest. Sorry, batteries died. <laughs> I don't get the sort of warning like I get with the other camera. That one under there. That gives me, like, you know, it goes down to red. So I get some sort of warning, but this one will sit on one bar battery. Ow! For ages. You little friggin' shit bag, that hurt. Anyway, as I was saying, until the batteries decided to die. This is a game I've been playing it for months. I just come on it every now and again during the day. If I'm here. Or if I'm at Mum's and it'll just be like... 
twice a day, once in the morning before I go to mum's and once when I come back. You just grow your crops and build your farm and... Oh me, where the hell did I get all that cash from up there? I have no friggin' idea. It was a hundred and something thousand farm dollars up there. Now it's four hundred and something thousand. I'll soon be able to upgrade. What do I need? I need to get to level 37 before I can buy another plot of land to expand the farm. Which I think I'll buy here actually so I can move pigsty over. Cow sheds. I've been upgrading these as much as possible. Because the more you upgrade your pig styles, your cow sheds, your chicken coops, etc., the more you can produce. The more you know, the more pigs it'll produce, the more cat milk it'll produce. Funny enough, you don't produce cows or um, beef. <laughs> and you've got market over here, so you can earn cash by doing markets. That might be why, actually, because I've been. Um, not a lot else in the game to concentrate on, so I've just been growing crops and, you know, farming goods to do these contracts, and as you get game money for these contracts. Oh, there's eggs there. Have I got any eggs? I've got some eggs. There we go. And of course you've got tasks over here to do and complete, and you'll get rewards for doing them. You can also watch I think it's five adverts per day. You'll get a free item per advert you watch. We well, can do what I do and just mute. <laughs> I like this with Firefox now. You can get a mute thing at the top here, so I just click that and mute it. So I just do that, let the adverts play it themselves, and then come back to the tab and <laughs> collect the um, reward. But uh, yeah, you can only do, f I think it's five, either every 12 hours or 24. I can't remember which. Well, then you can play along with other players as well. You've got cargo boat here. You can load up with goods. Um, there's a few other farms. I've got to get this one, which is the flower farm. I haven't got enough yet to get it. Oh, I have. Just got to get to got to get to level 40. You could buy gold as well which makes you progress through the game a hell of a lot quicker but here's the gourmet farm, another part of the farm you can make your fertilizer you've got the mills that produce all the animal feed, you've got donkeys what else have I got? more eggs I've been concentrating on donkey feed lately, which is barley. So I'll plant the barley. Of course, the more fields you can fit in, the more crops you can grow. And you can upgrade the fields to produce more. This produ Each field at the moment produces 37 barley. But uh, if I upgraded it, it would produce more. And if I wanted to produce more, I haven't got... Oh, yes, I have. And I click on this little um, hummus, 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 or is it hummus? Whichever sack, your fertilizer like that, and now it will produce. This one will produce 56. I haven't got any more to put on these fields, so unfortunately, let's uh, produce some more ass feed. It's another name for a donkey, isn't it? An ass. It's also what I'm named David Cameron, but I'm probably not the only one that'll name him an ass. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting about this. I've got the riding thingy over here. Is there anything else I can upgrade yet? No, because I haven't got the horseshoes. What can I get my horsey to do? There we go. I'll we'll start this one. Keep forgetting that's over there. Got the mine down here. Oh, costs two thousand dollars to start the mining, but I get four thousand back. Oh well. And I think. Hell, 
48 hours is two days. But to be honest, that's not a lot of dollars for two days. <laughs> yeah. I could speed it up, like I said, if I had the money to put into the game. I could uh, speed this up as well. By um, spending gold coins, but I need 1,920 gold coins. and Like I said, I'll just leave it as it is. I'm not in any hurry to complete the game. I suppose this is a game you can't complete anyway, can you? Anyway, got completely sidetracked there. Close that. That's alright then. I should have someone collecting a bike tomorrow. Got them two kids ones that I'm gonna... Well, I just want to clear enough space probably over there where them scales and the bin is. Um, I just sort of bring the kids bikes up here and uh, one at a time just give them a general service because that's all they need. I'm hoping the back tyre on the boys one's not got, got a puncture. I've got tubes, it doesn't matter but it would be a lot less of an arsehole <laughs> if it isn't. Be a lot easier because I can just, you know, pump the tyre up and leave it. But I do believe the other three tyres, the two on the other bike and the front one, are not punctured. They've got air in them. Because um, the guy that gave them to me did try pumping the tyres up, but he couldn't get the back one to inflate. But he wasn't sure if it was him, the pump, or the valve. <laughs> so, we'll find out tomorrow. Like I said, it's probably only about half an hour's worth of work. Oh, you are clean. I've got steel wool so I can clean the chrome up just to make them look a bit more respectable. But now, £10 each, and someone can have them. And then I'll have a crack at the BMX. In fact, I bought it because what I was going to do is put the BMX wheels in my little shopper at Mum's and have a BMX shopper. <laughs> put some stunt pegs on it. <laughs> I would have to change the brake pads to um, alloy brake pads because you do get different ones. I, for I forget that sometimes. But you do get bicycle brake pads that are designed for different rims. Ones that are designed for alloy rims and ones that are designed for steel rims. So um, if you actually swap a wheel from the other and then find your brakes doesn't... Brakes? Brakes doesn't? Your brakes don't work effectively like they did before you changed the wheels and that'll probably probably be why I haven't got false teeth so that's not the problem <laughs> although sometimes I wish I did very few of my teeth fell out naturally dad pulled one out accidentally he got, um, this is when I was younger, he was drying my hair with a bath towel and a bit of thread had started to come off because the towel was getting a bit worn and I don't know, I had my mouth open, you know, probably trying to talk to Dad, well, you know, while he's drying my hair and it got caught around the tooth, a loose tooth, oddly enough, and ripped it out. <laughs> um, I know I lost one from eating a sandwich. But most of mine I lost through a dentist. <laughs> dentist had to take most of mine out. Um, I had <coughs> all along the bottom there removed by a dentist. Because the new adult teeth had started to grow, but instead of pushing the teeth out, they pushed the bottom teeth forwards. So I'd have had, if it was left, I'd have had the adult teeth and then I'd have had all the baby teeth at the front. So I'd have had two rows of teeth. <laughs> or one row of loose teeth that probably may have fallen out over time, but when I was seeing the dentist, that, he was probably the best dentist I ever had because the um, anaesthetic needle didn't hurt at all. I don't know what he did, but I didn't feel it. But after that, I felt the friggin' anaesthetic needle every time. That's why I don't like... You know, being awake for operations because a fucking anaesthetic needle sting like a bitch. In fact, I will admit, 
when I had my ingrown toenail removed, my eyes did water from that one. It stung that much. I've never actually... Well, actually, it's been very rare from the sort of my mid-teens. Actually, not how old was I? I was about 12 or 13 when I had that done. But uh, even back then, it was rare for me to cry in pain. <laughs> even though I consider myself to have a very low pain threshold, I don't do pain. Anyway, there's some random stories, I suppose, at the end of the video, for the vlog. Uh, so, not much left to do in the bedroom now. But I've got most of it done. Got a remote set up on the TV. Uh, I did almost remember how to do it when I looked at the remote, but... I just had to check the book just to double check and make sure. Um, there, there was also a couple of things I couldn't remember in the sequence. Oh yeah, another useless sort of fact about me. That's what I used to cut the extra legs because I don't know if you, I don't know if I actually showed you. I'll show you in a minute. But I cut the other four legs for the um, other end of the desk. But that's the first time I've actually used G clamps. But uh, I was getting a bit fed up of trying to hold the block of wood in this, in this mitre block, and the piece of wood, and cut it, and with put the foot on the stool all at the same time. You see why I've skimmed it with the saw, but never mind. It was a free stool anyway. <laughs> and uh, I then suddenly remembered I've had a bunch of G clamps, so I went and grabbed a couple. <clears throat> but... Uh, in case you're wondering why I use a block like this to do a straight across cut, it's because I can't cut straight. If I was cutting down through a piece of wood like this, it would actually go at an angle. I can't cut down at a straight line for some reason. Even if I put the thumb there as a guide on the blade, it still comes out on the wonk. So if I'm cutting anything like legs for tables, I, d I used that when I was... Um, building this table so I could get nice or nicer level cuts um, that's why I've bought those in here because I'm going to put a table in this gap um, and hope what I might do is make it so um, the actual beach steps are not attached to the top here or can easily be unclipped so, instead of trying to lean over the beach, I can just drag the table out of the way if need be and access the rest of it. That's the idea. <laughs> anyway, I'll just show you the other legs. You may have noticed them when I um, pointed the camera in that direction, but... Yeah, I've done them up that end. The two at the back didn't really go that well, but I figured they're at the back and you can't see them very well anyway, so sod it. Why worry about something that's not visible? I have made sure the front ones are nice and level and lined up, and they might be 8 by a millimetre. Actually, I think those two at the front there might be 8 by a millimetre. But uh, I did use a little spirit level, so if they're out, it's because of that spirit level. That said, it was level. <laughs> <coughs> Right. The other thing I was thinking of doing is getting a couple of small shelf brackets like these and just putting any lights up there just as a bit of extra support possibly. I don't know. The whole table's a bit rickety. Um I don't know what to do to yeah. It's a bit rickety side to side, um it's not going to go anywhere, not if I leave it like that, but I wouldn't sit on it, <laughs> or jump on it, or stand on it. Which means it might be a bitch to get the shelf up there when I'm ready. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. I'm, uh, I'll put the camera on tomorrow, as always. I'll put the other set of batteries on charge. got one more video I need to do tonight for the LEGO channel, another review. Uh, 
I might go get another Lego set tomorrow as I've sold that bike. Mustn't forget to go pay the rent. I forgot to do that earlier. And I had to go to Lidl's twice because I forgot the cat food the first time. I'm so glad it's just sort of like, you know, stone's throw over there within walking distance. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you like the video and subscribe for more videos. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.